Can you hear me from there? Volume's good? Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. It is the end of a week uh, again here at City Hall. As they do each weekend, I'd um, like to visit with you about some of the things that have happened, uh, as well as some of the things you might anticipate for the coming uh, week. Uh, recently, we announced that uh, the official uh, times for Halloween will be on Sunday from 2 to 5. 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, that uh, announcement was in consideration uh, in consultation with not only our public safety professionals but well uh, school district officials as well. Uh, so um, please you'll also see at our social uh, media pages some additional um, events that are going on uh, at the aquarium at the Community Health Center of Niagara some other opportunities uh, to trick-or-treat um, throughout the week and weekend. So please uh, visit those sites and see if there's something there for you and your family that you may enjoy. Um, we have had a series of meetings over the course uh, of the last couple of months uh, for the community to provide information on how they would like to see the community rescue, uh, excuse me, the American Rescue Plan funding um, spent consistent with the Treasury regulations. Uh, the final um, event, community gathering, will be this coming Thursday. Um, it'll be from 6 until 7.30, and it will be at the John Duke Center on Hyde Park Boulevard. So this coming Thursday, October 28th, from 6 until 7.30, uh, if you have not yet come out to a community gathering and would like to come out and uh, have a conversation, uh, the members of the administration that will be there are really coming to listen to the community, uh, provide some information and insight, um, suggestions on how that money could be spent. Um, again, if you go to our social media page, um, it's been posted there, as well as some additional information so that you can educate yourself on how the funds can be used so that if you do choose to come to the um, event, you'll be able to contribute um, whatever your thoughts may be. There are a number of other things. We're completing our efforts with street paving. Um, we'll be completing our final street for this year at 7th Street. Um, we have paved um, several miles uh, of road here in the city of Niagara Falls. Uh, our crews will continue to work toward patching some of the other areas uh, that present some difficulties for drivers. Uh, and we hope to be able to cover as much territory as we can uh, before the weather turns on us. Again, um, this weekend uh, we anticipate uh, the weather to take a little bit of a turn more toward what we expect for fall. So um, if you're going to get out and about, please remember uh, that um, you know we're still sort of fighting the effects of the um, coronavirus. Be mindful of that as you're out and about in group settings. Uh, please try to remember all the public health requirements. It's for your safety, it's for your good, and for the good of your family and your friends. We anticipate the opening of the uh, border uh, for Canadians to come into the United States on November 8th. Uh, we look forward to welcoming our friends, family, uh, and guests from Canada. Uh, my hope is that over the course of the next couple of weeks, we might be able to get some uh, clarity on how the trans, um, transport between the two countries um, can be smoothed out. There are still some conditions if you're an American going into Canada, so please uh, be on the lookout. As we get information, we'll make sure that we pass it on to all of you. So again, as I do each week, I um, ask you to please be safe, uh, be smart this weekend, uh, and until next week, um, have a great weekend.